14 so i am back with this video on this faux hairline 13 by 6 lace outre wig laurel <laughs> Now the color I have it in is a 1B, um, but they have other colors for sure. And those colors will be posted in the description box, so I won't be mentioning them in this video. But I am just going to show you guys the wig and show you guys what the inside of the wig looks like um, after you take out the faux scalp. This was a tip I got from Body by Kira and also Haley. They are two influencers that had the same wig, and I just love their outcome, so I did it, but you don't necessarily have to. Um, just seeing how I want to lay the wig and stuff like that. Now, I do have another tip. If you feel that after you took it off, the faux scalp is given um, a little bald, and you could see that line where... Um, you have your cap on and the transparent lace. Quick solution is just a black cap. That fixes that totally. So, yeah. Once again, you don't have to, but this is something that I did. I just wanted to clarify a few things. This is about five days from the original date of me putting that wig on. So that's why the ends are kind of crusty and um, matted together. Um, I did not tie the hair up at all. I did not take good care of the hair, so I will be cutting it. And I definitely have to put this next clip in for all of my synthetic hair haters. Um, this is a actual representation of me not caring about anybody's opinions. Um, I've seen a lot of hate on social media, so I decided to put it in here. Um, not everybody wants to spend $400 on a wig, so. They had already said it was going to be like a worn, um, night event type of thing, unless you, um, you know, not something you wear every day. It's not an everyday wear. And I can understand why. So overall for me, I would give the wig a 9 out of 10. It stood its purpose and even lasted me a little after. So I will be purchasing again.